Praise the Lord, Global Christian Friends. This is Bishop Young again, and uh, I do want to finish that last verse of chapter 10, uh, which says, And he said to me, verse 11, Thou must prophesy again before many people and nations and tongues and the kings. And uh, we see that this book have done exactly that. I want to say that on the night that John left uh, the Isle of Patmos, there was an attempt to steal the parchment from John. And <laughs> had such been the case, you would not be reading the book of Revelation. Neither would I be teaching the book of Revelation. Neither would the great commentaries about the book of Revelation had been written, had the adversary been successful. But we thank and praise God. God wanted us to be able to see things that the apostle Peter did not see and to see things that the apostle Paul did not see. And here we are reading these things out of the scriptures. We know that the apostle Paul went out into the desert of Arabia and he received great revelations out in that desert. As he himself said, I didn't confer with mankind. I did not confer with the apostles about these revelations that the Lord gave unto me, the Apostle Paul said, about the doctrines that he had been given. And you think and praise God because you can understand the doctrine of the Apostles in such a most wonderful uh, way of seeing things. And I, I want to say this, a way of seeing things. There is a doctrine that says the holy, S-E-E, -E, the holy see. Those that see the things of God uh, are those who are holy with God. And they are it's not an extraterrestrial knowledge. It's just the knowledge that cometh down from above and reveal the things that are there above. Now, we've talked and we've shown and we have viewed these things and uh, we thank and praise God for all the things, my God, uh, when you began to go into this book and look in this book, uh, this book of Revelation, how can you not praise God uh, 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 for being such a wonderful God uh, and Father, and think about this. Out of everything that is being said and shown and revealed here in this book, I've got news for you, global Christian friends. There's a movement away from all of this, and you have to be able to see the movement away from these heavens, a movement away from this earth, a movement away from uh, perishable knowledge, a 
the Bible said, knowledge shall increase, but the Bible also said, knowledge shall cease. <laughs> praise, praise God. So it will increase until it ceases. And then what? Praise the name of the Lord. Well, you have to understand God's movement. And basically, a lot of us don't understand God. We say we do. We use his uh, 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 words. But this is what God said. And I want to make this clear before I move further. Uh, <laughs> praise, praise, praise the name of the Lord. I want to read it because I don't want you to think that it's the bishop. I want to read it. Uh, he said uh, in uh, Ezekiel 13 and 3, Thus saith the Lord uh, God, not the bishop, not the pastor, nor anyone in authority. Thus saith the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Now, I just read that out of the scriptures. Praise God. Hagiographer. I read that out of the scriptures. Thus saith the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Now go to the fifth verse of Ezekiel chapter 13, and this is what he said. You have not gone up into the gaps. Praise the Lord. You have not gone up into the, and I'm just speaking what God here is saying, neither made up the hedge of the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. If you have not done these things, I've got news for you. So does God. He's got news for you. You have not hedged uh, so that Israel or anyone may be able to stand uh, in the day of the Lord. Well, uh, not being able to stand uh, in the day of the Lord. And remember that angel that said the hour of his judgment is come. <laughs> and look at all the great thing that he has put forth at this time uh, during the hour of his judgment. And uh, look at these things in the sense of being three-dimensional, four-dimensional, ten-dimensional, or being real, truthful, and dominant knowledge coming from the Lord to those who would pay attention. God bless you, global Christian friends. For the next time, this is Bishop Young. We love you. Amen.